Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to scan your, your ports on your local IPs in your home lab. So, so this makes it to where if you uh, install a uh, like a software, like a, a Docker container or anything like that, and you don't know what the ports are open and how to get to the web UI, you can get a little bit of hints from scanning the ports and seeing what's open. So uh, today we'll, we'll be using Rust Scan to do it, and I'll show you step by step on how to get it installed and everything like that. So a little bit about this series: I'm going over home labs, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So. I will be using Rust Scan for this. It's a modern port scanner, and uh, it just scans the ports. It scans uh, uh, 65,000 ports in three seconds. Um, so it's full scripting engine support, and I'm like it, pi it pipes results into Nmap, so it's using Nmap too. Adaptive learning improves more. I use it. Not no bloated machine learning here. J just basic math. The the usuals uh, you would expect IPv6, a CIDR, a fi file input, and more automatically pipes ports into Nmap, like uh, like it said above. A Rust scan is a modern take on port scanner, sleek and fast, all while imp uh, providing extensive extendability to you. Not to mention, Rust scan uses that adaptive learning to improve itself over time, making a better port scanner for you. So we're gonna get to installing it and um, it's pretty neat. Uh, this GitHub link will be down in the description. So um, I'm going to go to the inst installation guide and um, it recommends installing with Docker and I'm gonna create an alias uh, inside my Ubuntu. Um, so I'm gonna co copy this and then I'm gonna go over to my Ubuntu installation and get it in, uh, get the alias uh, up and running set up. So the, the first things first is what we need to add the alias, the bash profile. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and cut out the um, the bash profile just to check if there's anything in it and there isn't. So I'm going to go nano and then I'm gonna do bash profile. And in the end, here you go it's empty installation so i'm going to go ahead and paste it in i'm going to create an alias for rust scan and then i'm going to say docker run i'm going to say remove once it's done running and then i'm going to name it rust scan i'm going to get the rust scan from the docker hub i'm going to uh, put the the ver version that these of the latest version for this video or the one that they recommend so now i'm going to do control x y and then enter return so now i have that in there i'm going to clear this out then i'm going to go ahead and source the dot bash profile so it becomes active so now i've just added the alias of rust scan to the the terminal so i'm ready to run the rust scan so now once you've added the rest scan uh, to the alias of the bash profile, I'm gonna clear this out. Then I'm gonna run rust scan just to see if it's working. Now it's gonna say unable to find the image. So it's going to uh, download it from the internet from Docker Hub. Now it's pulling it. So as you can see, it's running R Rust scan. So now it's uh, ready to accept IPs and uh, 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 add the port scanning. So now I'm going to, I'm gonna clear this out real quick so you can follow along. So I'm gonna do Rust scan again. I'm gonna do A, then I'm going to put an IP address in. So this is an IP address of a VM that I'm running. So, you can see it's found the ports, done it pretty quick. I used Nmap uh, to ping it. So, now 22, the SSH port, and then 8000 is an HTTP alt, alt, alt port, and then 9000 is a uh, 
of the UI. So, a little bit about looking at these ports. As you can see, as you can just go, go to these different ports and see which which has the UI on it, uh, uh, if you don't know what the ports are. But as you can see, looking at this, this looks pretty familiar. It's almost like it's a portainer, and it is. So you can see how much the arrest scan will ha help you be able to figure out what ports are open and what are not. So I just showed you how to scan for ports on your home lab and each IP address you have. You can use it on public IP addresses, private IP addresses, domains, that, things like that. So this really helps you in designing uh, uh, firewall rules and, and uh, it's really nice. So if you like this uh, tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any uh, video suggestions or you, you, you just need to ask questions or anything, you can go on the Big Bear community and join our Discord. So stay tuned for more.